Hello, today we focus on applications of differentiation. We look at this question. And the question says, parametric equations of a curve are given by x equals t squared minus 2, y equals 2t minus 1. Show that an equation of the tangent to the curve at the point with parameter t is ty equals x plus t squared minus t plus 2. Verify that the point A with coordinates negative 1, 1 lies on the curve and that the tangent at this point passes through the point B with coordinates 5, 7. Show that the line 3y equals x plus 8 is also tangent to the curve and find the coordinates of the point of contact of this line with the curve. This is a question from the Cameroon GCE board. Okay, to start we recopy the e parametric equations of the curve which are x equals t squared minus 2 and y equals 2t minus 1. To find the equation of tangent to a curve at a given point, we usually make use of the fact that at the point of contact of the tangent and the curve, the gradient is the same. That means the gradient of tangent and that of curve are always equal at the point of contact. So starting here, we find the gradient function of the curve, the y dx, which is supposed to be dy dt all over dx dt, the curve having been given parametrically. Differentiating y with respect to t, 2t minus 1 differentiated with respect to t gives 2 all over. Differentiating x with respect to t, t squared minus 2 differentiated with respect to t gives 2t, which gives 1 all over t. And that is the gradient of the curve in terms of the parameter t, which incidentally is also the gradient of tangent at the point of contact. To find the general equation of the tangent at the point with parameter t then, we make use of the general equation of a straight line, since the tangent is a straight line, y minus y1 equals m into x minus x1. And x1 and y1 are simply the values of the functions x equal t squared minus 2 and y equal 2, 2t minus 1. The x and the y values in terms of t because we are dealing with the tangent with parameter t. So y minus y1, y1 would simply be 2t minus 1 equals m, the gradient being 1 over t into x minus the x coordinate there which is t squared minus 2 y minus so negative times 2t two is 2 negative 2t two negative times negative 1 is positive 1 equals 1 all over t into x negative times t squared is negative t squared negative times negative 2 is positive 2 Multiplying through by the LCM, which is t, I get y t minus 2t squared plus t equals 1 over t times t would just be 1. And 1 times what is on the right there just gives x minus t squared plus 2. Then simplifying, we get y t equals x minus t squared plus 2 plus 2t squared, sending negative 2t squared the other way, and then minus t, when t is sent the other way too. Therefore, yt equals x, negative t squared plus 2t squared will give positive t squared, then negative t, and then positive 2. And that gives the general equation of the tangent as the question said, we're asked to show that the tangent to the curve at the point with parameter t is ty equals x plus t squared minus t plus 2. The question further asks to verify that the point A with coordinate negative 1, 1 lies on the curve. So the point negative 1, 1 
to prove that it lies on the curve, the curve having been given parametrically. So it suffices to show that there is a unique value of t for which x is negative 1 and y is 1. x being t squared minus 2, it will mean that negative 1 should be t squared minus 2, and so 2 minus 1 should be t squared, and that is 1, therefore t equals plus or minus 1. We'll do the same thing for y. y is supposed to be 2t minus 1. If y is 1, then 1 should be 2t minus 1. 2 should be 2t following that t equals 1. So actually, there is a unique value of t for which x is negative 1 and y is 1. And that value is t equals 1. So we say since there exists a unique value of t, t being equal to 1 for which x equals negative 1 and y equals 1 point a with coordinate negative 1 1 lies on the curve an alternative method would be to first find the Cartesian equation of the curve since x is t squared minus 2 we can make t the subject that will give x plus 2, then the root of that. And y being 2, t minus 1, we can substitute the value of t. And so y would be 2, the root of x plus 2, minus 1. Now to prove that negative 1, 1 lies on the curve then, this time the curve being Cartesian, we simply verify that the point satisfies the equation of the curve. So when x is negative 1, y is 1. I substitute in this equation of the curve. I get 1 for y equals 2, the root of negative 1 plus 2, and then minus 1. So 1 should be equal to 2, the root of 1 minus 1, which is 1. Since a, the point negative 1, 1 satisfies the equation of the curve, the point lies on the curve. The question for us is we should prove also that the tangent at this point passes through the point B with coordinates 5, 7. So we're looking at the tangent at this point and the fact that we had already the general tangent which was ty equals x plus t squared minus t plus 2. We were just from proving this in the first part of the equation. So at a we found up that t equals 1. So if I substitute t for 1. If I substitute t equals 1 in the general equation of the tangent, I will get the tangent at a directly. That will be y into 1 equals x plus 1 squared minus 1 plus 2. y equals x plus 2. Now, they want us to prove that this tangent passes through the point 5, 7. And again, it is just verifying that the tangent passes through the point. And we substitute the point and verify whether the tangent will, sat it will satisfy the equation of the tangent. So we see that when x is 5, y is 7. So I substitute 7 equals 5 for x plus 2, which is 7. Hence, tangent at A passes through B with coordinates 5, 7. 
on the equation further says we should show that the line 3y equals x plus 8 is also tangent to the curve and find the coordinates of the point of contact of this line with the curve. Now to show that 3y equals x plus 8 is also tangent to this curve, we need to find a value of t for which this line would touch the tangent. And we simply substitute 3 into y, y being 2t minus 1 equals x being t squared minus 2 as given the parametric equation plus 8. I have 6t minus 3 equals t squared plus 6 and then t squared minus 6t plus 9 equals 0 and t minus 3 all squared equals 0 implies that t equals 3. So when t is 3, the line 3y equals x plus 8 would lie on the curve. And so it implies that 3y equals x plus 8 is tangent to the curve. And now to find that point, this point is unique, remember. So and now to find the point, I just substitute the value of t in x and in y to get the x and y coordinates. So when t equals 3, x would be t squared minus 2. So I have 3 squared minus 2, which gives 7. And y would be 2t minus 2, 2 into 3, minus 2, and that gives 2 into 3 minus 1, sorry, and that gives uh, 5. Therefore, 3y equals x plus 8 is tangent to the curve at point Seven, five. An alternative method will be to prove that the line 3y equals x plus 8 touches the curve. The parametric form which we had was y equals to the root of x plus 2 minus 1. And it would normally touch it when they are equal. So if we substitute this and the resulting quadratic equation has equal roots, then we have shown that this line touches that curve and therefore it is tangent to it. So from here, we can say that the curve is y plus 1 equals to the root of x plus 2. So y plus 1 all squared should be 4 into x plus 2 on a square both sides. And y is supposed to be x plus 8 all over 3. So we have then that x plus 8 all over 3 plus 1, all squared should be equal to 4 into x plus 2. And from there we have x plus 11 all over 3, all squared equals 4 into x plus 2. And we can then say that x squared plus 22x plus 121 all over 9 equals 4x plus 8. 
and x squared plus 22x plus 121 equals 36x plus 72 when you cross multiply. Finally, okay, let me continue this way. I get x squared. 22x minus 36x should give negative 14x. 121 minus 72 should give positive 49 equals 0. And b squared minus 4ac should be equal to negative 16 a uh, negative 14 all squared minus 4 into 1 into 49 which gives 0 hence line touches curve at just one point now if you solve this is a perfect square actually which has x minus 7 all squared as factors equals 0 implying that x equals 7 and when x is 7 we substitute it in the tangent when x is 7 and the tangent y would be 5 giving again the point of contact as 7, 5. So you can use the second method and you will still do the proof and get the point of contact as was specified in the case of the parametric form.